in function of xylem it is okay wood sir wood base so that is important okay yes. xylem means wood okay wood, sir. nothing but xylem means wood yeah. yes so here now next now you see we are going to discuss last class we are uh, totally completed so next now you see second one so what is the second one that is in phloem okay ah uh, yes so what is the meaning of phloem already you know very well the like uh, xylem phloem is also complex tissues that conducts that conducts organic food material yes organic organic food materials from which one entire the plant body leaves to the other parts of the plant body entire the plant body it is also known as leptoma leptoma or bast the term phloem was coined so his name is of hotting in 1837 okay the phloem the place it where we are looking the phloem so just it is outside the vesicular cambium okay so here the phloem so we are looking we are absorbing in the when you are looking the section cutting just outside the vesicular cambium outside the vesicular cambiums external to xylem in vesicular bundles okay yes so in just some dicotyledons families where it is a uh, the families of stands of the phloem are found with the, where the pith in particular is some of the dicotyledons so the phloem yeah, we are looking in only where the pith so you know what is the meaning of pith pith means center part so when the uh, when you so where we are looking the secondary growth secondary development okay in between the section cutting so some parenchyma uh, tissues is there we call that is in pith so here here we are looking in phloems here we are looking in phloem so that uh, uh, we call that is of in intercalary intercalary okay phloems intercalary means in between both parallel In in between the both parallels, so that is of an intercalary meristems. So sometimes in other uh, plants, uh, the phloem is also included in the secondary xylem. Secondary xylem. You see here, this a position of phloem. That actually where we are looking in the phloems, the phloem is absorbing in different type of the so different places in where the vascular bundles. Sometimes we are looking outside the vascular bundles. Okay, sometimes. in so inside where the pit so here uh, sometimes the intercalary meristems intercalary phloems where it is amaranthaceae and other families so the roots the phloem stands alternate with xylem stands where we are looking the root systems so in that area the with xylem alternate with xylem and stands here yeah, next up similar to the xylem similar to the xylem the phloem also develops from two sources means here this phloem development the phloem is coming from where mean that is of in vascular cambiums vascular cambium so cambium cambium means meristematic tissues vascular okay xylem and phloem we together together that is of in vascular cambiums mean this phloem is started from where it is in the vascular cambiums okay so we call that is of in primary phloem originates primary phloem is originate from the procambium procambium means the first primate you means see already i told so where the originated originated cells is there we call that is in meristematic tissues in all the originated tissues Where the origin called that is in meristem means when it is going to always divisions. Where the divisions we call that is in meristematic tissues. So here the phloem is originate from the procambium, uh, and the secondary phloems from the vascular uh, cambiums, vascular cambiums. And here the primary secondary growth of the plant of uh, secondary growth development. We are looking in 
uh, in this uh, structure of phloems the primary phloem distinguishable into the that is of in proto phloem second that is of in meta phloems so this is the main structure of the phloem and here now you see i am sharing uh, so where it is in the phloem This one is the phloems. Okay, see, visible? Yes, sir, it is visible. Ah, yes. See now, the phloem is the major food conducting tissues of the vascular plants. Okay, the phloem like xylem. Is a complex tissue. Phloem. It is also complex tissues. Consists of the following elements. And before going that one, what is the main structures of the structure of the phloems? Okay. So here, the phloem composed of different kinds of cells. They are sieve elements, companion cells, phloem fibers, and the phloem parenchyma. Okay. So here you now you see one. It is of sieve cells. Sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem parenchyma. How many and uh, phloem fibers is this? Okay, so this is all to the with the different type of the structures is there to the phloems. And here now you see external phloem, internal phloem, and the next one that is of in included phloems. Okay, included phloems positions. Only completed where we are looking the phloems. Where we are looking in phloem. You see the phloem external phloem. What is the meaning of an external phloems? Okay, the primary phloem situated outside the primary xylem. Okay, so for example, in the section cutting, where is the section cutting? Is that this one is okay? So you see already you know very well the section cutting. Epidermis, cortex, and steel is there. Steel, steel means vascular bundles. So here, the position of the phloem, when it is the external, external means outside the primary xylem, outside the primary xylem. So we are looking the phloems. Second point, similarly, intergallery. Okay, na? So intergallery, intergallery phloems. The phloem is situated. Inside the primary xylem, inside, not outside. Okay, so where the outside that is external. Here it is in, so where the internal. And third one that is in, so interxylary phloem. Secondary phloem embedded in the secondary xylem. So we call that is of in included phloem. So this is all to the position of to the xylem. Position of to the xylem. Phloem. Sorry, sorry. Phloem. Okay. Yes. So next one here it is in. Elements of phloem here. How many types is there? One, two, three, four, five types is there. So one, it is in sieve tubes. So what is the meaning of sieve tubes? These are all living cells with uh, well vacuolated, well vacuolated protoplast is there. So they are of chief elements of conductions, and they're highly. So these cells are very specialized cells. Specialized cells. They possesses. So different type of the process in nucleus, the cytoplasms. Okay, so <clears throat> little bit of maturity. So maturity uh, seems are uh, annucleate elements are for annucleate. So these mean uh, the features of the presence of sieve areas. The sieve areas are the pores pores present. On the lateral end of the wall in sieve elements, sieve elements. So we call this is of in sieve cells. Okay. Here now you see the sieve elements lack sieve plates like structures at their end walls. Sieve areas, however, so are uh, present all over the walls. So here now you see this is the structures. Okay. Phloem structures is there. One it is of in Elements. Really, second one that is a uh, where it is in sieve tubes is there. 
So what is the meaning of sieve tubes? So these cells are also living cells. So which can sieves are very highly specialized. Which one that is of in all this of localized. Okay. So which one that is of in the phloem just like plate-like structures is there. Plate-like structures. The sieve tube elements elongated. Here it is in cylindrical structures is there. And vacuolated protoplast also we are looking. And uh, there is no nucleus without nucleus. They are arranged. These, these are all cells are arranged above other series of uh, separated by cross walls, which may be transfer uh, that is of oblique Q sections. The so, end of the walls is contained numerous, where it is in a pore like structure. See there. Okay. So, we call this is in sieve tube cells. We call that is of in sieve tube cells. And uh, so next one that is in here, pollen, so phloem, parenchyma, parenchyma. So already you know very well parenchyma. Parenchyma means that the simple close associated cells, we call that is in phloem, parenchyma. So here, which cells is contain that type of the things which contain the food materials, we call that is in phloem, parenchyma. It consists of some parenchyma cells which may be elongated, cylindrical, subspherical shape is there. And this one point is most important here. Means parenchyma which contain food materials. But here this, so this uh, cells we are looking in with the vascular sections. Here these cells is contain you see oil, starch, latex, etc. So all together we call this is in Phloem parenchyma, phloem parenchyma. What is the main functions of in this one? These are translocations. Mean sugars, protein storage, proteins transfer from food from the sieve tubes to medullary resin. So that is often where the wood parenchyma. So we call this often phloem parenchyma. And uh, next, now you see here this is often phloem fiber, phloem fibers. So what is the meaning of in phloem fiber means? So these are all only dead cells of phloem and occur in primary cell wall and uh, where the secondary phloems. So they are all elongated cells with interlocked. So these are all cells are it is an interlocked ends. Lignified walls is there. Okay. So the walls are very simple with bordered pits is there. But the bordered pits uh, and also we are looking in this one. So these are all the uh, so these are all the phloems it used to mechanical support. It used to the mechanical support. So this is of in phloem fibers. So these are all the types of phloems. And now you see here. So here I am showing the one. What is there? Elements of the phloem. Different type here. Now you see. So this is of in phloem cells is there for the ending one elements of phloems so sieve and uh, companion cells and size means here different type of the size is there okay so metaphloem protophloem primary phloems secondary uh, here now you see the first one so what is the first one this is metaphloem means at the starting first one okay so it is part of primary phloem which develops out of the formation of protophloem. The first one is a primitive, little bit, little bit development. Second one, second one we call that is of in protophloems. The develop earlier than the metaphloem and they're small in size. The first one is very close, close associated. Second one, little bit developed. Okay, means it is detached to the, to the primary. We call that is of in secondary after third one that is of primary next one that is of second okay. so how the development is going on so we are giving the name number one number two number three number four so last one is second the second means it is in advance okay so a little bit of advanced structures mean the strong cells is there that is of secondary phloem next to so already uh, you know very well what is the main functions of phloem means so this of in vascular tissues to transport a distribution to the, all the food materials.
The next one here, now you see. So, what is the differentiated? What is the variation of the primary phloem and secondary phloems? Okay. The primary phloems develops from the procambium of apical meristems. Procambium of apical meristems. Similarly, and the second point of the primary phloems. So, <clears throat> It is of distinguished into the protofloem and metafloems. Here the primary, that's why you know you see all it told. This one both meta and proto. Okay, na? so we call this stuff in primary phloems. Uh, and the sieve tubes are usually longer with narrow lumen is there. The phloem parenchyma is poorly developed. Where the primary? In primary, it is not in. So high developer is there, poor developer is there. So and the next point, the phloem fibers are found where it is an outer part of the phloems, outer part of the phloems. Scleroids are usually not found. Scleroids means, see, when you're studying in the bryophyta, there we are looking central part, hydroids and scleroids. But, uh, so when you're coming into bryophyta, that hydroids gets modified as element phloem. But scleroids are not observing, not looking to the primary xylems. So the callus formations, the callus formation around sieve pores is either very uh, little, sometimes it is absent and also means where the uh, sieve pores, sieve pores very so less, sometimes it is an absent and also is there. And uh, so next point, the secondary xylems. Okay, here now you see. It develops from the vascular cambium with the secondary one, secondary xylem. First one is a primary. So when it comes to from here to here, we call that the secondary xylems. So the it is a, the such distinction is not good. Sieve tubes are very shorter with bordered women is there. The phloem parenchyma, phloem parenchyma is a, that is often abundant. Medullary rays are usually heterocellulars and uh, they are found among the phloem parenchyma cells. Steroids are found in secondary phloems, secondary phloems. Okay. So the callus formation of abundance. This is the differentiated between the phloem and xylems. So is it clear now? Phloem and xylem means complex tissues. Yes, yeah, complex tissues. Yeah. Yes, so permanent tissues. Now we are completed to simple tissues and complex tissues. Yes, next now we are going to one more that is an important uh, one. So what is the third one that is it? Secretary tissues. Yes, secretory tissues is there. So what is the meaning of secretory tissues? Here now you see there is a chart that is in this ones, okay, secretory tissues. So how many is there? Two, latiferous and glandulars, okay. glandulars, okay. So some books are given more than two or three, but this two is most important. Okay, here, already you know very well. So you know the Asclepiadaceae family? Please tell me any one plant name, Asclepiadaceae. Or support AC, you know the supporter? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes. So when we are touching, is produced to some type of which one that is in some type of liquid material. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Can, uh, can you observe? White color. White color, white color. Okay, yes, right? sir. Yes. Asclepiad AC also it is produced to some stability means Telugu name that is of Chilledu. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, it is also produced to It is yes, also sir. produced to some type of the uh, white color, white color. Milk, milk. Uh, that, that, that is not in milk. Okay. So it is, a, it is a, some type of the chemicals. Means it is in secretions. These type of the, these type of the, that is one type of the tissues. That tissues we call that is a few secretory tissues. Is it clear now? Yes, one yes, more sir. important. Yes, one sir. One. You know the soap box. Soap. 
whatever you are using after the food. So when you are open the box, automatically, so some smell is coming outside the box. Is it okay? Soap. Yes. Sir. Soap. Hmm? So means these type of these all the plants are produced to some type of the chemicals. Okay. So we call that is also special tissues. Special tissues we are saying, or other secretion eh, tissues. The cells or tissues that are concerned with the secretions or excretions from the plant body is called special tissues. Is it okay now? These are all located different parts of the plant pot, plant body, and are widely distributed various plant genera and species. Is it okay? So many plant of secretion is considerable. The most economic importance, most valuable is the most valuable is so including you know the heavier brazilensis. You know the heavier brazilensis. Yes, rubber, yeah. rubber, rubber, okay. And rubber. Uh, you see, uh, just now you are completed gymnospams, which one there is a finus, okay. So it is a produced to the some type of the oils, we call that is a resin, resin canals, oils, secretions. And one more best example, you know, the citrus, you know, the citrus, the citrus leather, when you are like this, it comes to outside some type of the chemicals. Okay, so on the basis of occurrence type of secretions and the place storage of the secretions, they are classified in so various types. But here, given in only two types, is there, but one more, one other also important is there. So, which one that is a digestive glands is there, but we are given only two, but some more is there in our book. So, number one, uh, some plants is there, you know, the non veg plants. Non veg plants in Nepenthes. Very good. Nepenthes and Prasna. Insecta worst plant. Insecta worst plant. Cuticle area. Nepenthes and Prasna. Yeah. Okay. Uh, these are all the insecta worst plants. Insect worst yeah. plant. Okay. These plants are contain digestive glands. Is their digestive glands? Okay. So <clears throat> digestive glands is theirs. If that is often, uh, they are found in insectivorous plant and uh, secrete some type of the photolytic, proteolytic enzymes, some type of toxin type of enzymes. Okay, means that enzymes are useful for digesting in proteins from the captured where the insects, okay, the plants, the plants, uh, so the captures of insects. These plants are produced to some type of the toxin substances. So we call that is in, so this uh, <clears throat> call here it is in digestive. Okay. <clears throat> we call that as digestive glands. And uh, so other uh, example is already you know, very well. <clears throat> that is often in appendix and rasna hectical areas. Is it okay now? <clears throat> so next point. Uh, <clears throat> nectar glands is there. Nectar glands. So you know the nectar glands. <laughs> yes, they are uh, sugary solutions called of nectars. Okay, the nectar attracts to the insects of promit pollinations. Promit pollinations. Promit which one is of in pollinations. The insects are promote with the cross pollinations on the basis of their positions. So here it is a two types is there. One it is a floral nectar is there. Extra floral nectar is there. Two types is there. Nectar. Nectar means some type of the smells. Some type of the smell glands is there. So we call that is a fin nectar cells. They are present at the floral nectars. The floral nectars are present in only at the floral parts, where the floral parts. So usually they are present in the base of where it is in ovary. So they may also be present on other floral parts like uh, where the petals and the sepals are stems. Okay. So you see, for example, here the base, uh, base of ovary that is a 
root AC. You know the root AC family? Citrus. There's a root AC family. The nectar glands are leaking where the base of the ovary. So next one that is a palicornum, where the palicornum base of the stamens, base of the stamens, we are looking the nectar glands, palicornums. And uh, dianthus is there. The dianthus of filament of, where the filament, uh, base of the filament, stamens. And uh, so that is a lithrus means between the stamens and ovary. So these are all the some eucalyptus. So we are looking that is of the receptacle after the ovary. Means we call this of in nectar glands, nectar glands. And uh, extra floral means outside the floral parts also we are looking nectar glands. So we call that is of in floral, extra, extra floral, um, so, nec uh, nec uh, so that is of in nectar glands. So this one is a nectar glands. And uh, next one is one more is there, osmophores is there, osmophores. So this is also one type of the special glands. So produce it is of in, there is some velotile essential oils. So some type of the oils it is produced. So this oils uh, <clears throat> and impact to the, the, where it is in the flowers. It is different plants of phosphorus may appear in the form of uh, where the flaps and uh, where the, or that is often brushes, brushes. They are commonly found in the where it is in orchid flowers, where the orchid flowers. So it is help to the attracting where the insects, where it is a cross pollination. So here this often one type of an osmophores is there. So next now you see here that is often secretory cavities is there, cavities like structures is there. So the secretions released from the from the secretory cells are stored in the space within the glands. So, so these cavities are um, space are formed by the breakdown or by the separation of the which one is often secretion in oils. Okay. So that is often two types is there. So number one that is often lysogenous and uh, schizogenous, schizogenous, two types is there. So this is often cavities. And uh, Next one, one more important is there. That is often hydathodes. Hydathodes. So hydathodes means so they are also called of water stomata. They are called also water stomatas. <clears throat> <clears throat> the water pores through which droplets, droplets of water extruded, okay, from the leaf margins or tips. The phenomena is called of Gutations, gutations. Okay. So hydathodes consist of vein ending. So when we are looking the leaf, where the ending of the veins, here we are looking one hole like structure is there, hole like structures. Okay. So we call that is of in hydathodes. Hydathodes is there. Is it okay now? Yeah. So and uh, next now you see here. See here I am showing. Hmm. And this one. So you see here this one. Okay. Uh, so here given only two, but uh, I guess two glands and nectar glands. Okay. Osmophores, hydrathodes. Okay, and uh, latiferous tissues. The next one that is of in latex. Uh, you are given only two, but uh, so these are also, uh, we are saying that is uh, the special tissues. The tissues that are the concerned with the section of gums, resin, okay, volatile oils, nectar, latex, other substances are called secretory or uh, uh, special tissues. They are further subdivided into two groups. Only are given only two. So one it is in so latiferous tissues. Latiferous tissues. So what is the meaning of in latiferous tissues? So latiferous or specialized parenchyma cells, uh, which uh, 
secretion after the with the squid so the squid gum like fluid is there known as uh, for example that is a latex it's mostly white colors but maybe yellow where it is in so proper ac that is a yellow colors and uh, mother more ac more ac there also we are looking in yellow colors and it is stored the vacuoles so these uh, latex is stored the vacuoles and released into the cytoplasms so when uh, it is uh, the tonoplast of ruptured this uh, fluid fluid comes to outside the uh, the plant okay the latex is uh, we are looking the proteins and the carbohydrates some organic acids is there and uh, some that is of in tannins is there resins is there gums is there alkaloids and enzymes so different type of the essential oils also we are looking in latiferous tissues so you know you see the latex is a present in the families of many flowering plants substance may white yellow pink colors okay so here are given the example that is of in ficus okay so havia and uh, other things so these are of contain which one here it is in sugars proteins alkaloids and enzymes and rubbers okay so we are now you see one more is there that is of in latex cells is there latex cells so latex cells so your independent unit branches and originate minute of structures elongated and the spread of all direction to the plant body and repeated branching but do not fuse to together this is of into the and here one more is there already you are completed it's of in latex vessels is there vessels tube like structures is there <clears throat> that is of in latex vessels and here now you see this is of in glandular tissues is there this consists of the well, special tissues is there gland this is of in glands yeah so here now you see here this is of in external glands is there and the so second one is of in internal glands is there okay so that is of in nectar glands and uh, other things so this is of uh, for see god cells above the with the stomata we are looking in hydathodes hydathodes means so one whole like structure is there yeah. so this is of to the nectar glands is it clear yes sir yeah uh, now you see here this one it is of in digestive digestive glands okay so one it is in drosina and uh, where it is in of in nepenthes drosina and nepenthes is this and here now you see this of in so where the nectar these special glands are usually located the floral parts yeah and uh, this uh, substance where the types of pollinate pollinating insects where the pollinating insects is of in digestive okay so this one it is enough in uh, nectar glands is there so there is a special tissue is this <clears throat> now you see here so now we are completed uh, meristematic tissues and second one that is in permanent tissues okay so already you know very well meristematic tissues yeah and uh, permanent tissues it is a three types is there so one it is in please tell me here anybody number one that is of simple tissues complex tissues third one that is of special tissues types of tissues is this is it clear now yes yeah yes yeah. so next now you see so we are going to so that is of one more important uh, topic is there so that uh, name is just uh, one minute where it is in flow of flow Cancer cells is there in your book for that one. Uh, tissue systems is there. Okay. Next point. Next now we are going to the tissue systems. So what is the meaning of tissue systems? Group of cells we call that is in tissues. Okay. Group of cells we call that is of in tissues. Okay. So next point. Uh, what is the meaning of tissue systems? Now you see we are completed 
complex and uh, <clears throat> which were uh, simple tissues and other special tissues all together all together we are looking in only one places one place so we call that is often tissue systems is it okay please tell me or anybody what is the meaning of tissue systems group of different type of the tissues group of different type of the tissues means that is a simple tissues or complex tissues or next one that is in special tissues what is it all together all together one place okay so we call that is in tissue systems okay yes here the generally tissue systems are three types is there tissue system we are using three types one it is in epidermal tissue systems similarly second one now you see fundamental tissue systems and third one that is in vascular tissue systems understand yes sir hmm how many types of tissue systems is there three types three types first one that is of in epidermal tissue systems okay before going that one you see so when you are taking the section cutting stem or root whatever it may be so how many parts is there three parts is there one it is in epidermis second one is cortex and third one that is in central vascular system okay vas so steel is there vascular bundles is there how many is there total three so one it three. is in epidermis first epidermal. one that is in epidermis epidermal epidermal tissue systems okay yes so here now you see this of in tissue systems the tissue systems in the plant body is classified in the following basis according to their positions in the plant cells type which they consist of their functions and manner and place of their origin okay and their store stage development the classification of main plant tissues is based of primary segregation of complex below the what so different type of the uh, positions places the promeristem structure and function are also taken in consideration so later on structural tissues on the basis of physiological similarity or uh, the topographical continuity in reference division of labor of organization into tissue systems okay so but it is a is a <clears throat> three uh, first one that is of in epidermal tissue system okay so this epidermal tissue systems it is outer layer outer layers so when you are studying when you are studying the section cutting epidermis sir so this is in outer layer there is no any intracellular spaces okay so above the epidermis we are looking we are looking where the the uh, cuticle structure is there okay so in that epidermal tissue systems in that epidermal tissue systems so we are looking different type of the different type of the okay cells or structures is there inside with the epidermis yes what i am saying so this is in epidermis this is in epidermis inside the epidermis we are looking different type of the structures is there okay all together we call that is in we call that is in epidermal tissue system so here now you see the first one epidermal tissue system the dermal systems from the outside outer layer so it is a protective covering of plant and uh, represented in the primary plant body called that is a epidermis during the secondary growth the epidermis may be replaced with another dermal systems that is a periderm with oxels and forming in the new protective tissues so this is of epidermis so one more important point is there above the epidermis above the epidermis so we are looking we, uh, which one that is of in where the wax like structures is there so we call that is of in cuticle cuticles so generally <clears throat> this epidermis 
So one it is in normal epidermal cells is there, and the second one that is of in bully form epidermal cells is there. Epidermis means it's the outer layer. That is the first point. Okay, so protective layer. But whatever it may be, but in all the epidermis cells, you are not looking the same. Okay, so the epidermis layer is composed of two kinds of cells. One it is in normal epidermal cells. Normal epidermal cells. Okay, so what is the meaning of normal epidermal cells? So these are all parenchyma cells and living. These cells are arranged very closely and uh, without. There is no any which one that is an intracellular spaces in there. The cells possesses see large where the central vacuole is there with the that is often peripheral layer also we are looking in that and also cytoplasm also we are looking here. The cells these are all the cells are contained where the leucoplast and another one that is often chromoplast. The next one that is often actino. There is often chloroplast. Sorry, chloroplasts are absent. Chloroplasts are absent, except where the God cells. So the walls of uh, of these cells are uh, unwarrantedly very the thickened. Okay. So next, now you see here, um, these cells are which one there is often tubular cross sections, cross section of isodiametric, isodiametric shapes. So where the monocots and where the monocots, the epidermis cells are elongated and arranged, which one that is of where the parallel type, parallel type. Some members of OAC family, some members of where the OAC family, the epidermal cells are smaller size is there, smaller size is there. So where the silica means these cells are filled with the silica. So silica cells are are also we are looking in this one, okay. So we call this stuff in normal epidermal cells. And second one, one more is there, that is of in bully form. Bully form cells is there. So where it is many gross cells, many gross cells possesses group of large epidermal cells, okay. So which appear like that is of in uh, that is of in bubbles, bubbles like structures. The uh, bubbly like cells are called of bully form cells or motor cells. Bully form cells are motor. So, but these bully form cells we are looking in only so where the grasses, where the grass in only. Okay. So these are all thin walled is there, large vacuoles. They contain more water, like uh, which one that is often solid contains, unlike other epidermal cells. So we call this is in bully form cells okay so generally the epidermal cells are two types of cells is there number one that is in normal epidermal cells second is some bully form cells and also one more important is there when you are looking to inside the inside the epidermal cells so there we are looking so what is the transpirations what is the meaning of in transpirations loss of the water Excess of, of the waters. Okay. The transpiration structure also we are looking with the epidermal cells. Is it okay now? So we call that is in stomata. Okay. The stomata or the small opening present. So in the epidermis of where the aerial parts of plant body, they are absent in where the older stems underground and submerged, submerged plant parts. Where the underground means where the water plant, there is no stomata. Okay. Where the submerged plant also, we are not taking the stomata. Okay. So generally, the stomata is present in only where the <coughs> leaf epidermis. Uh, now you see already. So you know very well what is the structure of epidermis, structure of stomata. So means it is of in, you know, the black shape that is. Uh, you know already with this tomato, it is a kidney shape, is there kidney shapes. Okay. So just like the, like kidney shape is there, both sides, both cells is there. Subsidiary cells. Okay. 
but these are all the sections these are all the sections so this tomato and this tomato sections you are looking in where the epidermal cells is okay now yes where the uh, already you know very well but the in gymnosperms the stomata for example this is in epidermis just below below the part of epidermis so we are looking in stomata that is in sunken stomata sunken stomatas so generally so already i uh, you know very well so in uh, dicots in dicots so these stomata uh, four types is there according to subsidiary cells according to subsidiary cells so entire this uh, dicots stomata is divided in four types so one it is in anamocytic anisocytic parasitic and diacytic is there diacytic is there four types is there which one that is of in based on the subsidiary cells okay where it is in dicots so these are all the structures you are looking with the dermis so what is the meaning of anamocytic cells okay so anamocytic means see uh, base you see this point is most important here based on the subsidiary cells it is divided four types in dicots first now we are going to study anamocytic so what is the meaning of anamocytic there is no okay differentiated between anamocytic and second one that is of in uh, epidermal cells or similar structures is there since we are not clear identified so here which one is is the epidermal cells and which one is a subsidiary cells so when we are looking these type of stomata we call that is in anamocytic so this one is a first identified in ranunculaceae family so we call that is of in ranunculaceae types ranunculaceae types first uh, examples of in caparidaceae and uh, cucurbitaceae families cucurbitaceae families that is of in anamocytic is it okay now second one second one that is in anisocytic anisocytic so what is the meaning of an anisocytic yeah unequal unequal subsidiary cells unequal subsidiary cells okay so one is a very simple two or a little bit uh, similar is there so that is of in anisocytic matter with three subsidiary cells is there three subsidiary cells is there which one one is a very small okay so other two little bit uh, big shapes so that is example in malvaceae family malvaceae uh, malvaceae family is the best example that is in hibiscus rosa very good hibiscus rosa cyanen anisocytic tell me here anybody what is the meaning of it anisocytic unequal subsidiary cells we call that is a so this is a practical also most important so these are all just one minute uma just one minute here a little bit of problem is there yeah one it is in anisocytic is it okay now yes. so what is the third one that is in parasitic 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 means so now you see with the subsidiary cells okay similar subsidiary cells so you see now here for example this is the leaf so where we are looking in stomata okay so when you are cut like this so here we are looking white layer like structures is there visible white layer structure white layer like structures is there the whole little bit part is there visible here yes sir yes so there we are looking in stomata here okay this one is take the section and go see the under microscope so here 
we are looking this one white ray here we are looking the stomatons yeah is it clear now so this is of in mangifera indica so here so we are looking the second one yeah what is the third one that is of in parasitic parasitic means the stomata with two subsidiary cells parallel with god cells parallel with god cells okay parallel with god cells we call that is of in parasitic so you see in your uh, book page number that is of 395 page number so there we are looking very clear all the stomatas so what is the last one that is in diocytic what is the meaning of in diocytic stomata with two subsidiary cells o polar in the position with conjoint walls at right angles to the god cells so that is of in acanthaceae family that is of in acanthaceae so here this is of in four types is there this is a all these four types in a short question or a practical class also most important okay now yes so next now you see here one more other one is there uh, which one that is of in graminaceae family okay so that is of in stomata with four subsidiary cells which two are polar two are lateral positions so that example in graminaceae family you know the graminaceae family oac family they are saying that is of in graminaceae family in graminaceae family so we are looking so that is of in four tetracytic tetracytic four subsidiary cells of positions which two are polar and two are lateral so we call that is in so we call that is of in tetracytic and next one that is of in we next one here it is in actinocytic what is the meaning of in actinocytic actinocytic means the stomata with four or more subsidiary cells that's along it radially to the stomata so that is example in where the uh, that is of in uh, arachidiaci okay and uh, that is of in other one is there that is of in actino actino so next one that is of in cyclocytic what is the meaning of cyclocytic the four or more subsidiary cells forming a ring like ring uh, around the stoma around the stoma so that is of in pendanus families so we call this is of in all together stomata these are all the sections we are looking inside the epidermal epidermal systems is it clear now yes sir yes i next so you see here how the development of stomata how the development of stomatas okay so here now the uh, protodermal cell divisions where it is an unequally to give rise to the smaller cells known as of stomata in mother cells of the stomata the mother cell divided these mother cell are divides to from to young god cells young god cells the cells through their differentiations these are all the cells are through the differentiations and expansion as a acquire their characteristic kind of where it is the shapes also the septum between these two cells becomes weak and finally where it is in dissolves to form opening the stomatas so here on the basis of antigeny means uh, Uh, this uh, stomata is coming from where generally it is of in three types is there number one that is of in mesogenous type mesogenous type and second one that is of in perigynous type and third one that is of in mesoperigynous type so what is the meaning of mesogenous so here you see how can we identify the stomata means these are subsidiary cells and next one the god cells Okay. Uh, here mesogenous type see how the stomata is originated stomata is coming frames so first one that is of in god cells and subsidiary cells develops from same mother cells we call that is of in mesogenous type okay similarly 
second one that is of in perigynous type so what is the meaning of in perigynous perigynous means the god cells on the subsidiary cells have common origins okay with the god cells but other have independent origins we call that is of in uh, perigynous type and third one that is of in meso and perigynous both together at least one of the subsidiary cells have common origins with other god cells but other have independent origins so we call that is of in meso perigynous type so this is of in stomatos is it clear now yes sir yes so next now you see after the stomata so one more growth also we are looking in epidermal sections one more growth is there so that is already you know very well uh, which one that is of in mucana puricensis you know the mucana puricensis anybody know telugu name that is of in kita koila you know that one and one other name that is of in durada gondaku you know that one yes sir yes sir ah yes now you know very well <laughs> durda gonda ko yeah so now you see the outer growths of the epidermal layer are called epidermal appendages the mother that is of two types is there one it is of in trichomes is there and second that is of in where it is an emergency emergency two types is there so its outer growth of epidermis not only stomata this stomata we are looking inside the For the epidermis. So now this one comes to outside the epidermal layers. Okay. So one it is in trichomes. So what is the meaning of in trichomes? Tell me here anybody. Trichomes. Tri yes, very good. Trichomes means uh, arise. Means it comes to from epidermal cells. Maybe temporary or permanent structures. Maybe living or dead. okay the trichomes are highly variable from structures and functions they may be classified in two that is of in non glandular and second that is of in glandular okay this is a trichomes trichomes means this uh, hair like structures comes to outside the epidermis two types is there so one it is of in non glandular what is the meaning of in non glandular so already you know the glandular means whole like structures is there so these are all living and dead and characterized by the absence of where it is in non glandular glandular means what is the meaning of glandular whole like structures the pore like structures is there so there is no secretions so we call that is in non glandular trichomes okay uh, you see where it is in the for example that is a uh, nerium okay nerium so this is of in non glandular trichomes is this so when you are looking in the nerium above the leaf you are looking small white hair like structures is this you know what is the meaning of nerium anybody please tell me nerium very good very good so in that in that area so there we are looking some hair like structures is this so that is in non glandular means it is not produced any type of the so the creations are uh, chemicals or other any oil like structures is there okay so for example that is often ethereum and one more important is there uh, you know the mimosa podica mimosa podica patipati very good that is often touch me not touch me not so when you are touch that plant what happens A close in all the appendages are very close. Moment, yes. Okay. Moment. Yes, that is also protecting body often show the peculiar branchings. They give so they give a tree like dendroid, dendroid tree like structures is there. So that is example in Mimosa podica. So this is of in non glandular appendages, non glandular trichomes. And next one that is of in glandular. So quite opposite of non glandulars. So they are all living. and the characterized some type of the where it is in secretions salts and sugars resins acids so we call that as a glandulars okay so glandular means so here you know you see that is of in unicellular is there and donation that is of in multicellular is there 
so this is all to the glandulars okay now yes so next so what is the functions of all these trichomes means the trichomes present on the epidermal layer reduced to the transpirations reduced to the transpiration so this is the main functions of appendages and uh, next one there is a film emergencies emergencies means uh, spines and a scale like okay epidermal we call that is a scale like structures and uh, spines like structures spines like structures spines like structures is there they develop from the epo epidermal layers okay so underlying of collateral layers so we call that is a emergencies where the a spine like structures is there and next to what is the main functions of the epidermal tissue systems the epidermal is a primary protective layer to the underlying tissues root hairs uh, in root epidermis serve the functions of absorption of the water stomata play on important role in gases exchange and transpirations okay the trichomes and cuticle prevent in innervation of microorganisms and other insects and also take operation of water from plant surfaces in some cases in other plants the epidermis cells contain the chloroplasts and help to the photosynthesis so we call this is in epidermal tissue systems is it clear now epidermal tissue systems yes sir saujanya please respond yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, now yes. it is okay. Epidermal tissue systems. Any other? Only here. Yes. All three members. Ah, yes. Ajit Nayak. Nayak, respond. Yes, Ajit Nayak. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Understand all of you here. Epidermal tissue systems. Akshay Kumar, yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Understand what is abdominal tissue systems? Hmm. Okay. Now you are completed abdominal tissue systems. Okay. So whatever you are complete abdominal tissue systems, what you are completed now? Inside abdominal tissue systems, you are looking in stomata first point. Okay, and uh, next one that is in epidermal outer growths. Okay, stomata are how many types, and uh, epidermal outer growths. Yeah, yes. So next, now you see we are going to second tissue systems. Please tell me, or anybody, what is the second tissue systems? Fundamental. Hmm. Very good. Now you see here this one. Brown tissue systems or fundamental tissue systems. Okay. Describe. Short question. Describe the uh, epidermal tissue systems. Describe the epidermal tissue systems. Okay. So whatever you are completed, you write in all the points. So next, now you see here fundamental tissue systems. What is the fundamental tissue system? Means See after the epidermis, after the epidermis, above the steel, in all the sections, we call that is in cortex. Okay, we call that is in cortex. In that cortex, so there we are looking inner cortex, outer cortex, okay, endodermis, hypodermis, perisicles. So many sections we are looking in that area. So all together we call that is in ground tissue systems. Is it clear now? Okay. Yes. The systems extended from below the epidermis to the center. You see now what is the system of fundamental tissue systems? Means below the epidermal tissue systems, above the. Tell me here above the. Central system. Very good. Central systems. All together, we call that is in crown tissue systems. Okay, except to vascular bodies. Here we are looking into see cortex, pericycle, 
primary medullary rays and pith so these are all the sections we are looking in where the fundamental systems yes so first now you see here the ground tissues between the epidermis and the pericycle is known as cortex okay so actually you know the diagrams so uh, you see above the steel we are looking one layer like structure is there that is of pericycles above the pericycle below the epidermis so we call that is in cortex so these uh, cells these are all the cortex cells almost all it is in parenchyma cells is there parenchyma cells so these cells are very thickness consist of mainly okay so mainly total it is in uh, which one that is of in all the cells are contain it is only parenchyma cells is there so these cells may be uh, what type of shape here round and another that is of in polygonal shape cylindrical shape even that is of in stellate shapes different type of the shapes we are looking where the cortex okay so it is a round shape is there and polygonal shape is there cylindrical shape a different type of the shapes are looking the cells are very it is in large intracellular space is there intracellular space is there Inter, you know the what is intracellular spaces gaps between yes in between, between the space. gaps in between the gaps we call that is in intracellular spaces okay ashok kumar akshay kumar okay, okay. yes sir uh, yes now understand what is the fundamental tissue systems sir hmm tell me doubt sir ha uh, yes ask me sir uh... Hmm. Hypodermis hmm. and cortex. Cortex, yes. Sir, what is cortex, sir? Ah, yes, yes. Cortex means below the epidermis. So when we are looking the section cutting, okay, below the epidermis. So here I am showing this diagram. Which one here? This naturally uh, below the epidermis, above the cortex. Okay, sorry, above the steel. When we are looking the section cutting, three parts is there. One it is in epidermis. Second one is cortex. Cortex. Epidermis. Second one is cortex, sir. Cortex. Third one is steel. Third one is steel is there. Three parts is there when you are looking the section cutting. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. First one is epidermis. Already we are completed. Epidermis we are completed. Below the epidermis, below the epidermis, above the cortex, above the cortex. All together, we call that is in cortex. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Yes. Means here. we call this of in general cortex general cortex in this cortex okay so we are looking we are looking see pericycle primary medullary rays and pith so now you see here this all together this all together cortex pericycle primary medullary rays and pith all together we call that is in ground tissue systems ground tissue system sir ground all together not only cortex not only hypodermis not only endodermis not only all together all together we call that is a ground tissue systems so particularly above the above the steel below the epidermis parenchyma cells is there okay we call that is only cortex so once again i am telling see here the ground tissue present between the epidermis and pericycle you see pericycle is also part of fundamental tissue systems but above the pericycle okay above the pericycle epidermis and pericycle in between we call that is only cortex 
Is it clear now? So yes, sir. These are, these are all the contact tissues are very okay. So which one there is a thin, very thin is there, very thin. Thickness is there. The consist of mainly these are all the cells are consist mainly parenchyma cells. Parenchyma means small small type of cells is there. We call that is a thin parenchyma cells. Sir, these are all the cortex. You see what type of shape, what type of parenchyma cells is there? Polygonal shapes is there. Cylindrical shape is there. And a round shape is there. Different type of the shapes you are looking in cortex. Okay. And in this cortex, you are looking large. Intracellular space is there. Large intracellular space is there. Okay. Yes, uh, next, yes. Now, next, now you see here the chloroplast may be present in all some of the varieties of in cortical cells and other resin, some type of the oil glands is there, resin in gymnosperms and latiferous cells, special tissues is there in that one. Okay. And maybe these are all the sections you are looking in the cortex. Okay. Generally, now particularly. When you are studying in only dicots, particularly studying in the dicot, the outer layer cortex become transformed, transformed to supporting tissues called of hypodermis. Hypodermis. Okay. One layer is there, outer layer. Okay. Outer layer of cortex. So we call that is of in hypodermis. The remaining tissues is known as known as general cortex. Is it clear now? Yes, yes. sir. Innermost layer in the endodermis. Inner layer is there. One more layer. Actually, you have both the diagram. So, diagram, when I'm showing the diagram, it is very easy. Yeah. Endodermis. In the most of the monocots, monocot stems, the cortex is not distinct being the present in general ground tissues. Okay. Hypodermis, it is a chyma. Hypodermis is of in polenchyma, the stems and leaves of dicots. It is of clearenchyma, it is, and the stems and leaves are monocots. The cortex of the roots of more homogeneous as it consists of only where it is in the parenchyma cells. Okay, okay. so what is the main function of the cortex? The cortex it is a Primarily, primarily where the protective tissues is there, it may be useful for storage and food material and for where it is carrying out to photosynthesis. The cholenchyma and sterenchyma of the hypodermal, hypodermal uh, reason, temporary mechanical support to the plant body. So this is the main functions of general cortex. Is it okay now? Of yes, the general cortex. The next now you see here where it is in endodermis is there. Endodermis. What is the meaning of an endodermis? Similarly, pericycle also we are looking in this one. Pericycle. So here now you see where it is in. Now this is often cortex. First one is here cortex. Visible. Second one is a hypodermis. Hypodermis are different. Endodermis are different. Okay. So, hypodermis and pericycle. So, next point. So, what is the endodermis? It is a single layer compactly okay, arranged parenchyma cells delimiting where it is in the cortex from steel. The transfer section of the cells appear where is the barrel shapes a well shaped and elliptical shape. The cells are living and may contain where it is a starch, tannin, and mucilage. So we call this of an endodermis. Due to presence of starch, grains of endodermis cells is known as starch sheath. Okay, so where the dicot stems, where the dicot stems, and the distinct where the endodermis. When you are looking in the cortex, the cells where the cortex cells are shows 
where the waxy substancy waxy substancy like the where it is in sobering from the uh, where it is in uh, bands like structures strips are their radial transfer valves so these are all known as casparian strips casparian strips is there some cases where the endodermis is a thick wall a thickened so that even lumen may be the uh, close like structures is there the roots when endodermis cells become which one that is a lignified is there and uh, superize it some endodermal cells usually opposite to the prosilums it is of thin wall so these are all we call self endodermis so endodermis what is the main functions of the endodermis so act as a water okay act as an air the presence of passage cells in endodermis suggest uh, that is of in uh, passage of water from the cortex to xylem so this is the main functions of the endodermis and last one uh, that is of in pericycle is there the pericycles so what is the meaning of a pericycle the strips of tissue present between the endodermis and the blaster bundles known as pericycles known as the pericycle it may be one or some other uh, section we are looking few layered and generally all is of a parenchyma cells is there some cases it is partially where, where it is in the, for example there is a sunflower and cucurbitaceae there they are looking in sclerenchyma okay so what is the main functions of to this uh, functions of the pericycles so in dicot roots the cells of the pericycle become uh, where it is in meristematic zones meristematic from the vestibular cambium to the cock cambium okay pericycle gives rise to the roots pericycle function main function it gives to the roots in some plants of pericycle region which in some of the secretion cells so where it is of in lantiferous tissues is there so we call this is of in pericycles and uh, primary medullary rays also we are looking and a uh, pith medulla pith means center part of the we are also looking in that one so this is to the ground tissue systems is it clear any doubts yes sir jay yeah, lakshmi or saujanya please any doubt yes yes yeah? sir okay so next now you see we are going to one more topic is there that is of in vascular tissue systems okay so we will discuss in the next class next only one class is there last one hmm? okay we will discuss it in the next no need sir what what pith is no need sir yes yes pericycle and pith okay. that is also ground tissues part of the ground tissues means it comes to from the cortex actually okay. the pith you are looking at center part okay oh. okay sir. center part along with along with okay that is a ground fundamental ground tissue systems so okay. how many types of tissue systems three types what is the first one is epidermal tissue system fundamental yes. tissue system okay. vascular tissue system yeah, how many are completed two are completed sir what is the first one epidermal tissue epidermis yes second one is yes. Fundamental, fundamental, tissue. fundamental tissue system okay so we'll discuss in next class vascular tissue systems okay so when you are complete in this one the most all you are tell uh, us uh, one more little leaf structure is there yeah copper the leaf leaf uh, okay structure tissue systems there is of secondary growth is there secondary growth is there one more topic almost all so we'll go to complete next class so vascular tissue system okay Yes, any any doubt any doubt any time you ask me yeah yes sir
So now I am leaving. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Any doubts? Any time you ask me. Okay, sir.